Um, moving on to liver injury. Liver injury is one of the more serious complications that we can see with parenteral nutrition. Um, there are different types of liver injuries. Steatosis is the first. Um, that just means that we're having some fatty deposits in the liver. Um, typically, this is due to overfeeding. You know, um, it's reversible, which is the good news. So if we back up on the calories, typically this resolves on its own. Um, most of the time, steatosis will be, uh, you'll be aware that it's happening if you have an elevation in your uh, serum AST and ALT within two weeks of starting your TPN. So steatosis will happen pretty quickly, but again, it's reversible. It's, you know, very manageable. Um, cholestasis, this happens because of impaired bile secretion or obstruction. So if you have an obstruction in the bile ducts or, or you know, the gallbladder isn't able to release bile for whatever reason, um, you can have cholestasis. So you're going to have an elevation in your outclass, direct bilirubin or conjugated bilirubin, and your gamma glutamyl transferase or GGT. Um, cholestasis is more of a serious complication because if it's left untreated, it can potentially progress to cirrhosis or liver failure. Um, those pa the patients with cholestasis may or may not be jaundiced, so that's a clue. Uh, but really having your direct or conjugated bilirubin greater than two um, milligrams per deciliter, that's the prime indicator of, you know, that you know it's happening.